Hi everybody, Mark from Big Apple Hockey here. A couple quick notes from last night and also some advice for the New York Rangers as they take on the Pittsburgh Penguins in Game 1 tonight. There were 37 power plays called last night, as noted by Calgary head coach Daryl Sutter. Clearly, they are calling the games a little bit tighter. And the Toronto Maple Leafs, they're the beneficiary of two over two-minute power plays last night versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. So... For the Rangers, do not get into a parade to the penalty box. Pittsburgh has the third-ranked power of penalty-killing unit. Even though the Rangers' power play is a little bit better, that could be a key matchup if it wants to slow down the Rangers' momentum. As well as, the Rangers then have to deal with Sidney Crosby and his power play unit. Again, the Rangers have the advantage as far as the power play units go, but Pittsburgh's PK is actually better than the Rangers, third to ninth in the league. Looking around the league, the Boston Bruins swarmed the the Carolina Hurricanes. 36 shots last night on Antti Ranta. He stood tall, made the saves when he had to, and once Seth Jarvis scored, there was no looking back for the Carolina Hurricanes. They never let another team get momentum. But the Boston Bruins are a veteran team, so it's going to be interesting to see whether or not the Bruins can flip the script on that. And also, can they keep this up? without starting goaltender Freddie Anderson. I picked Boston to win the series. How many of you are regretting it right now? Carolina, man. They, it might not even matter who they have in that. You know, analytics people were all over the Toronto Maple Leafs saying it was their series to win. And I've given Toronto a whole lot of grief over the last year, especially saying that they haven't won a round in the playoffs since uh, 2003. So... It's going to be interesting to see whether or not they can keep that up. Remember, they had a 3-1 series lead versus the definitely not as good Montreal Canadiens last year. And prosperity didn't seem to work in favor of them. Let's see if they just exercise those demons. Go out, win game two. You got to keep it going. If there's any team that's up one nothing in a series that needs a game two win, it's definitely the Toronto Maple Leafs. The St. Louis Blues were absolutely dominant against the Minnesota Wild. And David Perron's hat-trick, plus he had an assist, was all that St. Louis needed. Billy Husto stopped all 37 shots to slam the door on the Wild. Now, does that mean they have to put Cam Talbot in net? I don't know. You, you get Marc-Andre Fleury for his experience, and it's... He's already been on runs like this. He was in the uh, the conference finals last year, and he's defending Vesna Trophy winner. Talbot, uh, Talbot actually kind of outplayed him uh, after the trade deadline, uh, thanks to some conjoling from uh, the the guys during my live stream the other day. I actually agree with him on that. So I don't know. I, I think you still go with Flurry, and if he plays well enough, you go with Game Three, but. It's kind of funny in this in Talbot now being involved in yet another goalie controversy. Although the other one was still no controversy. The LA Kings, the LA Kings knew. I mean, again, I picked Edmonton to win in five because there's no Drew Doughty in the series, and I figured Connor McDavid's going to go off. But if this is the Mike Smith you're going to get, LA is going to win this series, and it might not even be this long. The Edmonton head coach is already starting to talk about whether or not there's going to be a switch in net. He says he knows who his goalie is. He's just not telling the press. I'll tell you right now, you're going to meet Gokoskin and that's going to be much worse. So stay the course, Edmonton, and uh, maybe they can get this righted. I tell you what, Jonathan Quick looked every bit as good as what he used to, especially making an outstanding save in the second period on Leon Dreisaitl when he went post to post and then getting it right in the logo. Uh, and then, you know, the, this is that's what the playoffs are. You got to flick the switch, and you gotta you gotta bring your best game every single night. So, my prediction tonight still is the New York Rangers winning. I went all chalk as far as betting goes, even with a goal and a half spread. The only the only one that makes me nervous at all is the Rangers. Colorado should roll right past the uh, Nashville Predators with no UC Soros. I've I've just gushed over the Calgary Flames the entire time. I think they're going to be the Stanley Cup winner. 
And uh, lastly, the Florida Panthers. Uh, this is your time. Go out and hammer. Absolutely. Hammer the Washington Capitals. Um, make your statement that you're the Stanley Cup favorite. But as far as the Rangers are concerned, in the first period, Pittsburgh's going to try to come out strong. The Rangers have done great with keeping the shot numbers down, especially against the Pittsburgh Penguins post-trade deadline. Can they weather the storm in the first period? Try to keep Pittsburgh off the board? Usually, everybody says about the first 10 minutes. So, if they do that, get the first goal. Although, it's more important for the Rangers to get the second goal because they have the most comeback wins in the NHL this year. So, there's my notes for today. Everybody, enjoy game one. I will see you for a post-game stream afterwards.